And we're back. We're talking about New Orleans. We're going to open the phones as well at 882-3999. And um, just tell me, it sounds like it was a dramatic experience for you because you weren't just seeing it on video. Yeah, I mean, uh, just being there and meeting the people there who were just amazing despite everything that's happened to them. I mean, I don't know if you saw Lisa, but like she's been going through so much. She doesn't have her house fixed two years later, and she still has this smile on her face. And I asked her, you know, why are you smiling after all this that you've had to go through? And she just said, it's the absurdity of the situation. It's just that everything that we've had to go through and just we, we can't really do anything but smile at this point. So just seeing those people, I think, you know, you just see the video, but but going beyond it and just meeting those people and the, the impact they had on my life was just amazing. So. Some of them will just can't imagine living anywhere but New Orleans. It seems like a special place. To yeah, them. and they get that question all the time. You know, why are you living in a place that's below sea level? Why, why don't you relocate somewhere else? And without hesitation, every time the, somebody would say, this is our home. This is where we grew up. This is our culture. I mean, New Orleans is a very uh, original city. You know, there, there's a lot of, of unique culture in New Orleans. And so... It wasn't even a question in their mind whether they were going to come back and rebuild. And that was just New Orleans. You go back to Louisiana, you face St. Louis, and just everybody was just, I'm going to rebuild, and they can have this hurricane come as many times as they want. I'm going to come back, rebuild my house, and I'm just going to stay here. So. And the insurance matter, you can see the signs, is so not ironed out. Tell me about, I know you have another part of this story with uh, Direct Relief Interna International. What's that about? Yeah, so this is just part one of a, of a uh, documentary. Um, I have another part, which is up on a website, which is uh, on, on YouTube. If you just go um, click on uh, Kevin, uh, Kevin Davis, search for that, or there's a, also a, a link. Um, but uh, there's another six-minute part where um, one of the main focus for this trip was going with Direct Relief, um, which is a local aid organization that's donated over $30 million. So um, they We're, we're going to cut to Kathy real quick. She's on the phone, and we'll get back to that. Kathy, go ahead. I think you're from Santa Barbara. Is that right? Uh, I'm San actually Smithsville. in Great. San Luis Obispo, Thank California. Thank you for calling. Go ahead. Um, I was just wondering, I still have, I went down there twice wow. to um, get out the homes down there, and we have a friend that still lives there, and she's still struggling just to try to get her house complete it. Um, she's had several contractors that have really ripped her off. And I was just wondering, um, is there any, anything that we can do here to help those people in New Orleans um, either, you know, provide food or not really food, but money or something that we could do for these people because they're really struggling. Right. Well, um, th the problem is, is that a lot of uh, things, you know, they're, they're just kind of rebuilding their house. And so there's not a lot that can be done. But if you contribute to organizations like Direct Relief that, you know, contributes uh, medical supplies and um, other things, and, and just there's a, a various uh, organizations like Red Cross and everything. But I think that the main thing it has to be worked out in um, having uh, quality contractors, having insurance problems uh, fixed. And so those aren't things that necessarily that Santa Barbara residents can do. But always, always, always donations are always helpful to direct relief to other places like that because it just it helps them in, in other ways that they, they can get How did, by. Well, like Kathy could go there. How was your reception? Do they think you were just a looky-loo? No, I mean. They liked it. The funny thing is, you can ask anybody in, in New Orleans, and they will tell you a story. Like, you go to, um, I was walking down French Quarter, and, and I just asked somebody a random question. And I was like, oh, uh, while I was waiting, I was, are you uh, part of, um, you know, what happened to your house? And she just went into this long story about, I lost my home. I, you know, it's like everybody is just waiting for somebody to come up and ask them, you know, they what happened? Share. It's they, part of they're their just pouring healing. their soul out. So yeah, I mean everybody that I, I met. Wow, so. I wish I could go help that woman clean her house, but there's, <laughs> it's completely rebuilding. Uh, what what are you going to do? You said it was a documentary. Are you hoping to other than YouTube? Are you hoping to do something else? Well, with yeah, that? I'm trying to get a, a reporting job with this, but I, it's it's more just um, I just went more for my personal sake and just kind of I wanted to see what was going on. And so. Um, just if people either want to go to YouTube, and we'll, we'll see what happens with it. But for me, it was you know, just kind of... that's how Anderson people. Cooper started, just so you know. <laughs> he, on his own dime, went to a war zone and brought back video. So well, we'll see. you're in good company. <laughs> Again, where can we see part two? Uh, if you go to YouTube.com, I think there's a link uh, oh, there right, right there. So, yeah, but you can just type in Kevin Davis on YouTube, and it should show right. up. So, so, yeah. Katie, well, thank you so much for sharing that time. Um, if, if Direct Relief has a chance to uh, share that video, we'll try to get that on Definitely. as well. We'll see but, what happens. But, but before you go, why do you... I'm just going to ask you this. Why do you want to be a reporter? Because it sounds like you just want to tell stories. But I think that it kind of solidified it when, when I was, I'm talking to somebody and they're not being listened to by anybody else. And when you ask them that question and, and they start just pouring you know, their soul out to you, it's just 
to, to be a voice for those who need a voice. And to me, that's the most important thing, just the, the, the feeling that that gets and that you're able to help people get a message out. So. Well, you just did that. Thank you so much, and good luck with your career. We're going to be back next week with more movers and shakers and recognizable faces. And again, if you need more information on the whale, you can go to KUIT.com's website and also visit the Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History. The same thing with Straight Up. That's straightupvc.org. And again, to see more of this New Orleans report, you can go to YouTube. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you on In Focus next week. got a full house. Oh